Good morning. It's Monday, April 25th, 2022. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, A Short Journey with Grief, and our scripture is 1 Corinthians chapter 15, where the Apostle Paul writes, If in this life only we have hope in Christ, we are of all men most miserable. My friend and fellow pastor Charles lost a dear friend some time ago when she lost a struggle with incurable tumors. Charles had become caregiver and counselor to both Michelle and her parents. It was an exhaustive battle that lasted more than a year. You become very weary driving hundreds of miles a week between Linwood and Durham. With the doctors, Pastor Charles and Michelle, a vibrant follower of Jesus Christ, they waged a battle for her life. Often it was only the bond of Christ that offered any hope or solace for what was coming. Michelle died the week before annual conference for the Methodist Church. Charles recalled, I buried my friend on Sunday and left for annual conference on Monday and played golf with my friend Rick on Tuesday instead of attending the meetings. That day on the golf course, Charles was engulfed with guilt over doing something he normally enjoyed. It had only been two days since he buried his best friend. On one of the greens, Charles was preparing to putt, and seven butterflies gathered around his feet and the golf ball. He looked at his friend Rick and said, It's Michelle saying it's okay. The grief had been building for more than a year as Charles was anticipating the loss of a treasured friend. Suddenly, it was released by the serendipitous gathering of butterflies. So, was it Michelle? There's a long human family fascination with the beauty and presence of souls departed and butterflies, which stretch across virtually all cultures and epochs of man's search for meaning. The Greek, Roman, Egyptian, and even Native American stories include religious accounts and beliefs of transformation, soul, rebirth, resurrection, hope, and beauty personified in the winged harbingers of comfort we call butterflies. A few of them, the Blackfeet tribe, believe butterflies are a conduit for peaceful dreams, and individuals use visual representations of butterflies to have restful sleep. The Aztecs believe the butterfly was a symbolic representation of the soul of the dead, similar to other civilizations, but they also believe them to be symbols of resurrection and transformation. Native American traditions are still followed to this day as every year monarch butterflies migrate to Mexico around the Day of the Dead. The lore associates butterflies with the returning souls of deceased ancestors and allows families to honor the souls and memory of their loved ones. Not everyone has an experience like my friend Charles and Rick shared that day with the butterflies on a North Carolina golf course. But the comfort of a moment to release the weight of a year's anticipatory grief in the face of such loss tells us it was certainly God at that moment caring for one of his own. For you today, if you've struggled with grief a little too long, I'm not recommending golf. It has its own struggle and brand of frustration. I do commend, however, remembering we were never meant to live in these bodies forever. The worm, with its chrysalis stage of struggle and change, reminds us of transformation, where everything beautiful and ugly or painful in this life is made holy and eternal by the God who is behind, above, below, and alongside every sufferer. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.